Hi everyone, my name is Grace and today I'll be taking you through making these customized crochet earrings. They are easy to make and will you work up very fast. So let's begin. So for materials you need your earrings, any size can do. A 2mm hook and I'm using nylon thread size 10. So we begin by making a slip knot. You attach to your hook. I attach using a slip stitch. Uh, sorry, a single crochet. So this is how you do it. Hold your yarn. It's a bit tricky. And then do a single crochet. Easy peasy. So we don't count the first stitch, we start counting from the second. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're going to make single crochets in multiples of four till you reach the end not the very end you make sure there's some space left so your stitches don't come out so i worked on this earlier it's the same size as this i cast on 80 stitches so this is row one let me show you row two to begin row two row two we'll be using double crochet you chain two one, two, and turn your work. So we skip this first stitch and work on the second stitch with double crochet. And then you skip you skip this stitch, you work on the next stitch. Skip this one. Keep the zone work on the next stitch. So double crochet. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next. You work this way till the very end. Let's meet at the end. I am done with my row. So we are now on row 3. You chain 2. Turn your work to the, to the inside. Because it's getting a bit tighter. We will be working from the inside right now. From now on onwards. So on row 3 we will work the same as row 2. We double crochet in one, skip one stitch, double crochet in the next. And chain three. Skip, you work on this, double crochet. Skip one stitch, double crochet in the next. You continue working in that pattern till the very end. Let's meet at the end. So I am at the very end. I double crochet, I skip the stitch and double crochet in this space. And to the next row, you chain two and turn your work. In this row, we will be making one double crochet in each stitch. We will be skipping a stitch. So you make one double crochet in each stitch. Sometimes the end comes off, but it's okay. You work to the very end. Let's meet at the end.
so at this point we are done or, or almost done you can leave it at that just cut your yarn leaving ends or apply glue and cut or you can just burn it a little and stick it to the stick because it's nylon if you're using cotton yarn make sure you weave in ends or you can make a chain of let's see one two three Then eight chain of eight and attach it to you this end with a slip stitch then cut your yarn and weave in ends or there are many ways to finish this you can chain one turn your work and work a row of single crochet at the end we will skip this stitch single crochet in the next skip the next single crochet in the next Skip one stitch, single crochet in the next. Skip one, single crochet. Do this to the very end. We single crochet the last stitch on on this loop and the chain two loop to make it more to give it a complete finish I like working single crochet along on along these edges it gives it a really nice finish so like this no 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 like this you see it the, the finishing is so nice classic so we single crochet Oops. single crochet in this space right here so you slip stitch instead not a single crochet turn your work you bring the thread to the other side you slip stitch on every single crochet you did till here if you do rows of single crochet this side will be bigger than this at our last single single crochet uh, at this point you single crochet in every stitch around Put two single crochet in each chain two space or in each double crochet space. The last stitch will be a slip stitch. 
I like slip stitching in between the stitches on the casting where I casted on. Just pick any stitch and slip stitch. It's a bit hard. Be careful not to mess your work. Oops. It's becoming difficult. Oh, finally. So at this point, you just do a single crochet, a slip stitch, sorry, at the back. You cut your yarn. And weaving ends so congratulations you're done making your earrings make a second pair it's quite easy quite simple and very very elegant and so it's so unique so here's the finished product I love it. I love making small things. Hmm. So, on the next video, I'll be showing how to add beads to your to your earrings. It's quite simple, and it also gives it a nice touch. So that's for now. Bye bye. If you like my video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. See you next time.